Hey guys! So first things first, look at my dog. He's so freaking cute. I love him so much. Alright, um, I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as usual. I'm going to be blending that out and then, like always, going to be setting it down with some powder. This one is the In Light shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Then I'm going to be taking some tape and putting that on the corners of my eyes just to make the blending process a little bit easier and make the line a little bit more sharp and clean. Then I'm going to be taking the color Pooter and I'm going to be putting that into my crease as my transition shade. I'm actually going a little bit heavier with this shade than I normally do with my transition shades. Um, and I'm just putting it on with my big fluffy blending brush from Sigma. Next I'm going in with the color Roxanne and I'm going to be taking that on a flat shader brush and I'm just going to be putting that all over my lid. I go in between packing this color on and swiping it across my lid just to give it a nice even coat. To blend the lid color and the crease color together I'm going to be taking the shade Jax on a Morphe M433 brush and I'm just going to be Fusing all of these colors together just to make sure that everything is blended and everything looks nice and seamless. You get the picture. I do this in most of my looks. I always go back in with my big fluffy blending brush just to make sure that there are no harsh lines at the top and that I make sure that everything's blended of course. Next I'm going to be taking the color Sissy and I'm going to be putting that on my lid with the exact same flat brush that we used earlier. This color in the pan is actually kind of pink but when you put it on top of this red lid it comes out golden champagne which I actually really liked because I thought it gave it like a whole new dimension. Next I'm going to go in with the color Chip which is just like a really dark color from the palette and I'm going to be deepening up my outer V. Being very careful that I don't blend away all of the sissy color, which I did anyway, so I had to go back with that color and just kind of redefine the lid. Next is probably my favorite part. I'm going to be taking this Urban Decay eyeshadow in Space Cowboy and just taking it on my finger and pressing the pigment onto my lid. I love putting this glitter on my lids. I'm sure that I've done it before in another video. But I think it does a really good job of making any eye look a little bit more interesting and fun. Now I'm just going to be going back to blend the shadow out where it kind of got messed up from the glitter. Now we're going to be lining the eyes with the Tardis Clay Paint Liner in black. And we're going to first be removing the tape. You can leave the tape on if you have trouble with winged liner. That actually might help a lot. I decided to take mine off. Who knows why? <laughs> But I'm just going to be doing a pretty dramatic wing on both eyes and I don't know, I kind of felt like they turned out decent. This one turned out better than my other one, but that's why I kept this one in the video. Okay, once you have both of your wings on, you are going to line your tight line with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, which is my favorite. Then here I'm just adding some mascara and lashes. I think I used this in my last video, but it's just the Big Shot Mascara from Maybelline. And these are just some random lashes I got from Forever 21. They're honestly not the best lashes because they're like a little bit stiff, but they were pretty cheap and I had like a whole ton of them. So yeah, that's what I'm using. Then I'm just going over the lash band with my NYC Liquid Liner. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit more mascara to the lashes just to combine my real lashes with the fake ones. Now I'm just going to go back in and kind of fix up the shadow where I see fit. Now we're going to move on to the face. So lately I have not been wearing foundation at all. I've just been using this Physician's Formula Mineral powder for my foundation. I've just been really liking the way that my skin underneath kind of shows through. As you can see I have a lot of freckles so I really like when that comes through the makeup. I don't think I've worn foundation at all for like the past like three months. Now I'm just going to be bronzing my face with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and the color I'm going to be using is Dark Cocoa and I'm just going to be putting that basically 
all over my face and all over my neck and chest as well just to make sure that I am all the same color which doesn't happen often but you know we try Moving on to the eyebrows, I'm just going to be combing them out with this spoolie from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Then I'm also taking the ABH Dip Brow in chocolate and just filling them in. I actually did a different shape today. They're a little bit more squared off compared to what I normally do, but you know, just experimenting. After that, we're just going to set them down with this brow gel from Maybelline. Then we are going to move right on into the lower lash line. I'm going to be lining the waterline with the same jumbo eye pencil from NYX. Then to smudge out that liner, I'm going to be taking the color Soda Pop and I'm going to be smudging it down on my lower lash line with this flat brush from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Then to make the bottom lash line cohesive with the top, I'm going to be taking the color Jax and also smudging that into my lower lash line. Now I'm just adding some mascara to my bottom lashes and after that you are officially done with the eyes. Now moving back to the face, we're going to highlight using the Becca X Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, which I haven't used in a long time on my face. And as you can tell, I was shook all over again because I was like, oh, yeah, that is uh, blinding. Now for blush, I'm going to be taking my go-to, which is MAC Melba. I just think this literally goes with every look and I literally use it all the time. And I guess I lied, we are going back to the eyes. I'm gonna be highlighting the inner corner with the Balm Mary Luminizer and using the excess on my finger to further highlight my Cupid's bow. Now to line the lips, I'm gonna be using the Jordana Lip Liner in Rock and Rose. You guys know this is my favorite. I use this all the time. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with MAC Velvet Teddy. I don't think I've used this in a while on my channel, but I absolutely love this lipstick. Then to give my lips a poutier look, I'm putting MAC Japanese Maple in the center. And then I'm going to be setting my face with the Revolution Makeup Pro Illuminating Fixing Spray. And then after that, the look is complete. I hope you guys like this look. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!